If you use Gentoo for any amount of time, you will inevitably run into this common problem. You want to install some piece of software, but Portage cannot find it anywhere in Gentoo's default repositories. Maybe the software you want to install is too new or too obscure, or the Gentoo project considers it too unstable or is undesirable for some reason to include it in the main repos. Whatever the reason, you can't get this software from default Portage. So what do you do? You can compile the software from source yourself, of course, but I would like to show you uh, an alternative to doing that. I'm going to show you how to expand the list of software that Portage can install by adding overlays. And I'm going to do it with Layman, the awesome overlay manager for Portage. To start with, I should explain what overlays are. Overlays, also known as eBuild repositories, are described by the Gentoo wiki as a structure of directories and files used to add and extend packages for a Gentoo based systems package manager. What that means is that overlays are just unofficial external sources of software. They are lists of additional programs that are not included in Gentoo's default software repos and that can be downloaded and configured on your system using Portage if you tell Portage where to find the overlay. If you're familiar with Arch Linux, uh, think of overlays as being similar to the AUR. If you're more familiar with Ubuntu, you can think of overlays as being more like the PPA repositories that you might sometimes have to add to apt to get third-party programs. Just like both of those, overlays are just a way to install software with Portage that may not be in Gentoo's official repositories. Now, overlays can be added and removed from Portage pretty easily. My preferred way to manage them is by using the excellent tool Layman. Layman can be installed simply by typing emerge app portage layman. I can spell it layman. But before we do that, we should enable a few important use flags. To do that, navigate to your Etsy portage package dot use directory and create a file called layman. Now I've already created this file here, but essentially this is the same as any other package.use file. It consists of, on the left hand side, a category name, followed by the package name, then a space, followed by a list of space separated use flags that you want to enable. Now to begin with, we only want to enable two use flags here, namely sync plugin portage to install the portage sync module so layman can sync its overlays whenever you run emerge dash dash sync um, and the git use flag to build in native support for git based overlays which are the most common modern kind of overlay by far once this is done simply write your changes and exit the file and type sudo emerge app portage layman and hit enter to install layman. The first thing to do once you get layman installed is to get familiar with how it works. You can open up layman's man page and have a look at its various options, but I'm going to go ahead and show you the most common options and use cases for layman here in this video. To get a list of the overlays that Gentoo considers trusted, that is the ones that can be installed on a name by name basis with layman, and I'll show you what that means in just a moment, simply run layman dash capital L and this will provide you with a list of overlays that you can add to your system uh, as well as some basic info about the overlays themselves such as what type of repository they are as you can see most of these that show up here are git and uh, any URIs associated with that particular overlay. Now this list is pretty big so you may want to pipe it to less in order to get a better look at it. And as you can see here, we can see all of the generated overlays and take a more close look at them this way. Let's get out of here and clear off some space. Now to add one of these overlays to your system, simply run sudo layman a for add, followed by the name of the overlay. For instance, if I want to add the overlay zx2c4 to my list of available overlays, I simply say sudo layman a followed by that name since that particular overlay is in layman's default overlay list then you can just hit enter and as you can see layman has successfully added it to double check we can run layman lowercase l 
to list locally installed overlays. And as you can see, the one that I added is right there. So we've been, we have successfully installed it. Once you've added an overlay, you can install software from it by using the regular old emerge command. Just enter emerge followed by the name of whatever package you want to install. And if that package is available from either the Gen2 official repos or one of your enabled overlays, it will be downloaded and installed just as any other software would on your system. It will not look any different from installing software with Emerge from Gentoo's main repositories. The overlays essentially just give you access to more software. They broaden the amount of packages that you can install on your system. Removing an overlay is super simple as well. Simply run sudo layman-d for delete and then the name of the overlay. For instance, to remove the repository zx2c4 that I just installed, I would just run sudo layman d zx 2 c 4 and hit enter. And as you can see, layman reports that it has selected and deleted the overlay zx2c4 successfully. And we can double check by once again running layman lowercase l to list all of the locally installed overlays. And since zx2c4 is no longer in this list, that means it has been successfully deleted and removed from our overlay list. So it's no longer accessible. We can't install software that might perhaps be in the ZX2C4 overlay unless we were to re-add it again with Layman-A. So it has been successfully deleted from our system. At this point in the video, I want to provide a word of caution to those watching and thinking about installing overlays themselves. Third-party overlays are awesome, but they are without a doubt one of the most common ways newer Gen 2 users break their systems. The Layman man page itself says, and I quote, Layman makes it easy to retrieve and update overlays for Gen 2. In addition, it makes it trivial to break your system. The Gen 2 main tree provides you with high-quality e-builds that are all maintained by Gen 2 developers. This will not be the case for most of the overlays you can get by using Layman. Thus, you are removing the security shield that the standard tree provides you. You should keep that in mind when installing e-builds from an overlay. To ensure the security of your system, you must read the source of the e-build you are about to install. End quote. Overlays are not going to install software that has been verified as safe by Gentoo. You take the security of your system and yourself into your own hands when you use third-party overlays. So just be sure to keep that in mind and act accordingly and do your homework before you add an overlay to your system. Hopefully, if you've gotten to the point where you have installed Gentoo and are configuring it in this way, you don't really need that warning, but it's better safe than sorry, and it's important to realize that the third-party overlays are not official and their safety should not be taken for granted. So be a good sysadmin and be careful about what you put on your system. To close out, I wanted to point you to a couple of resources that might help you out with layman or with overlays in general. The Gen2 Wiki's pages on Layman and on eBuild repositories, which is right here, are great reads and they can succinctly provide you with the next step up in your knowledge of these topics. And secondly, when it comes to actually finding software that might be packaged in third-party overlays, my favorite resource is gentoo.zugaina, hopefully I pronounced that right, .org. If you go to the overlay section of the site, you can browse the software available from each overlay on a package-by-package -package basis. For instance, the software that's available in this overlay, Alatar-Lay, we can see is sorted by category, and we can click them, and see that within each of those categories, there is a package. And each one of those packages has a page on this site with a little bit of information about it, including any listed dependencies and any kind of use flags that might be associated with it. This particular one doesn't have any, but some of them have that listed here, as well as a link to a website associated with this package, so you can get further information on it. Zugana.org lists every overlay available from Layman, as well as a few outside overlays, and it sorts them into categories listed by source. For instance, if it says Layman, that overlay is listed officially in Layman, but if it says outside, such as this one here, then that overlay would have to be installed manually using Layman in order to use it. This website is an excellent resource. Um, I'll definitely be linking it in the description of the video, so check it out. And that about does it for this video on overlays and installing and using them with Layman on Gentoo. 
Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful or educational for you, and I will see you next time.